Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back with another holiday recipe. This recipe is going to be simple and easy and definitely flavorful. So as you can see, I'm sure you know what this is. These are collard greens. I'm going to show you guys how to make the best recipe with these. But first we're going to start out by cleaning them and I'll show you that process and I'm going to show you how to cut them as well. So let's get started. So guys, here's what we're gonna to do to each of our leaves of collard greens. You're gonna just take it and lay it flat. You wanna just go midway up to the stem. Just slice that right on out. Uh, you might have to snip it a little bit there. Pull that right on out. Then you wanna discard this. Then you're gonna just set this to the side and repeat the process, okay? Okay guys, so once you have all of your stems removed and are looking like this, you wanna just take a reasonable amount of them. You just wanna take them and roll them up just like this. Okay, then you wanna turn it to the side and just cut them. You want them thinner then that's totally fine but this is what you want to do and I'm doing all of this before cleaning them because it'll be much easier so once they're clean they'll be ready to cook okay so this is what you'll come up with you'll have strips just like this okay like I said if you want them thinner or possibly thicker then that's fine so I'm gonna finish the rest of these then I'll show you guys how I clean them so before I show you how to clean them, I just wanted to show you guys how they look. These are the strips. And just to let you know, I will be cleaning them in this sink that has been cleaned and sanitized. And I'm also going to be sanitizing it after because I have such a large amount. It's too much for a bowl. Okay, let's get to cleaning. Which will... So first you wanna run some water in the sink, which is lukewarm temperature. Please don't run hot water because your greens will start to discolor if you use hot water. So as the water is running, you want to add some salt to the water. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit of vinegar. Okay. And I'm going to swish it around a little bit so I can get mixed all up in there. All right. Now you just want to add your greens. Let them get mixed in there. Just want to swish them around. Let that sink get filled up just to cover the greens. Just swish them around. Don't rub them together. Just swish them around to help get some of that dirt off of it. All right, they're cleaned. All right, y'all, let's get to cooking. First, we're going to start out by dicing a half of an onion. See, this is what you want. So I'm going to finish these up, guys, and then we'll head to the stove to start cooking these greens for real. All right, so now to a pot, guys, you wanna add some smoked turkey meat, or if you like, you can use ham hock or whatever choice of meat that you prefer. But I'm gonna use smoked turkey. Gonna be using two pieces. Now to that, you wanna add some water. Just enough to cover. Gonna add a little more. Now we're gonna let this come to a boil. And to this, we're gonna add some chicken bouillon. Guys, don't worry, I'll be including the measurements in the description below. And I'm gonna add about half of the diced onions. Okay, so I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then we'll add our greens to the pot. All right, our smoked turkey has come to a boil. Let's continue on. I'm gonna reduce this heat for the meantime. And what I'm going to do is add the rest of our diced onions. This smoked turkey created a great stock for these greens. I like doing it this way. 
So we're not going to be adding any more seasoning to this because the smoked turkey is full of flavor. We added the chicken bouillon. You don't need to bother with any salt at this point until your greens are like cooked midway and you feel like you want to add something. But trust me, with this recipe, you're not going to need to add anything unless you like other things in your greens. But this is what we are going to do. And most of the time, your greens are not going to fit all at once. You got to kind of like let it wilt down for a few minutes. And then you want to add the remainder of your greens. So that's going to be what we're going to do here. So I'm not going to stir anything. I'm just going to let that wilt down and then add the rest of the greens. All right, it's been a couple of minutes. So now we can add the remainder of our greens. But first, I want to add some uh, some white vinegar to this. And I am going to move that around because I want it to get all into the liquid. Now what the vinegar does is help break the acidity of these greens. Okay, so let's add the rest. You see how quick these wilted down? Took no time. So I'm going to be able to fit the rest of these in here. It's crazy how... When you cook like collard greens and cabbage, they always wilt down to nothing. So you got to, you know, have a lot just to have enough. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, that's it. Going to let these wilt down again before I stir them. But in the meantime, other than that, we are going to let these cook on a low flame for about one hour before checking them again. So I'll be back after that one hour period. All right, guys, it's been about 40 minutes. Whoa, baby. Just want to check these out. Wow. Man, they smell so good. They're not tender enough. I can tell just by looking at them. I'm going to let these go for another 20 minutes, and then I'll take the meat out and start pulling it off the bone and adding it back to the pot. So I'm going to give this another 20 minutes. Let me submerge that back in there. All right, we'll do this again in 20 minutes. All right, y'all, it's been about 20 minutes. These are definitely done. Let me just, you can see like the bits of onion up in here. Oh man, I can't wait to eat these. All right, let me just taste a piece to make sure that they're tender enough. Mmm, wow. Whoa. You don't need to add anything to those unless you like to, but I'm going to fish out these pieces of uh, smoked meat so that I can shred the uh, meat off of it and add it back to the pot. If you don't like, if you don't want to do this part, you definitely don't have to. This is definitely optional. If you wanted to just use the meat for flavor, that's fine. But some people like to have a little of the meat, you know, and then yeah, I think I need that. Let me get this other one. Guys, this smells so good. Oh my god. Well, oh, this one basically fell off the bone. <laughs> I'm gonna take these bigger pieces out to uh shred them into smaller pieces. Some of these are way too big. Sorry guys, that's my other phone. <laughs> my ring doorbell is going off. Uh, Alright, so. All right, guys, let's shred this meat now. All right, let's take this meat off now. As you can see, most of this came off already. I don't wanna put any fat into it, so we won't be removing any of this. Yeah, the rest of this is not meat, so. Let's do that. And the skin, you also wanna remove that. We won't be needing that unless you'd like to have it. And right, we're gonna remove the skin from here. Ooh-wee. Mm. 
I'm gonna just get all the meat off of it. All right, guys, this is good enough. I'm gonna add this back to the pot. Let it simmer for another 10 minutes. And then our collard greens will be done. All right, all right, all right. Now we're just going to mix that in. Oh, man, guys. This smells so good. I'm going to let this simmer for another 10 minutes, and then we'll be done. So since our greens are done, let's see how they taste. Let's see how we did. All right now, guys, let's do it. It smells so good. Guess I'll get a little of the meat. All right, first bite goes to you guys. Now my turn. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mm. That is really good. Without all of that extra seasoning and unnecessary stuff. These greens are perfect. You get most of the flavor and slight saltiness from the smoked meat. And we added the chicken bouillon and the onions. Guys, trust me, that is all you need. You don't need anything else. Trust me. Make sure you guys give this recipe a try. It's gonna be a winner at your Thanksgiving table whenever you choose to use this recipe. So guys, make sure that you like this video. Please, please, please like this video. And make sure you turn on your notifications for when I post another video. Definitely leave me a comment. I respond to everyone as soon as I can. And also share the video. So with all of that being said, guys, I'm going to head out of here. And I'm definitely going to finish this up. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.